Hey guys, Ruben here with your daily tech needs and today I am taking a look at the Hydrogen ROM uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. Uh, this ROM, ROM has been in development for a long time and it's a really good ROM. I use it as my daily driver. I keep going back to it if you like. Uh, it's super fast and the battery lasts seems to last forever. Uh, so yeah, we'll get started. I did a video before on this ROM so I'm just going over some of the new changes because it's been updated uh, quite a lot. Uh, so the first one is, there's no longer any vibration by default on the lock screen. don't know if you can hear it, but there's no vibration. Uh, so now once you hop into the phone, uh, there's no vibration there, so that's one of the first changes. Uh, a lot of the updates have been bug fixes, and a lot of bug fixes, um, but this is a very stable ROM. Uh, it's rock stable, it's one of the most stablest ROMs out there, and it's ice cream sandwich. Uh, we'll just check here, and I believe it is based off... Um, yeah, Android version 4.0.4, .4, so it's the latest Android version. Uh, updates have included the updated kernel. Uh, the kernel is a uh, net chip. Uh, there's, I'll put a link to that in the bottom about the features of that. Um, basically, it's a really good kernel. I use it all the time. Um, and it works really well on this, uh, on this ROM. Uh, a couple of other changes are now in ROM control. Um, the startup tweaks um, opens up faster and um, that's one of the new tweaks and features there uh, and you also have uh, LED options and you can now change colour of LED sorry about that somebody phoned me there so yeah like I was saying you can have LED pulse on uh, turn it off and uh, change the colour that's one of the other new features uh, this is the same bugs as um, Cyanogen Mod 9 uh, which isn't a lot as I'm sure you know, but it is a, it's an ACOP based ROM, uh, Android Open Kang project. Uh, it's fully based off the source code uh, for that. Uh, so it's uh, it's really nice, and you, what you're going to get with that is obviously a hell of a lot of customization compared to CyanogenMod. Mod. As you can see here, we can uh, general UI, you can add uh, the navigation bar at the bottom uh, with your free buttons, etc. So you can see here the navigation bar, you can change colours of it, uh, you can edit the buttons down there, um, you can enable uh, weather uh, in the status bar up there when you pull down. Um, we'll just see if it works there, maybe it won't straight away, it might need to refresh, but yeah. Uh, and then you have other uh, settings, like general UI settings uh, of the status bar, uh, transparency, um, hide toggles, that kind of thing. Uh, you can add percentages to your battery, you can change your style, um, as you can see we have circle mod now and, uh, and let's change it to a circle with a number in it uh, you can change your colour and you can also choose uh, your performance uh, your scaling governors as you can see there isn't a lot to choose from but uh, it's not that bad and uh, there's no overclock in this ROM, 1.2 GHz is, what is the fastest you're going to get which isn't too bad because 1.2 GHz is fine in my opinion uh, then you also have the amount of RAM um, task killers will keep in memory and stuff like that. Uh, you can also do voltage controls and then start up tweaks. Uh, what I do like about this ROM is that all the customization settings are based in the one area. Uh, unlike Cyanogen Mod, it's not based out across multiple um, multiple sections of the settings. Uh, you have it simply in ROM control, and then all your settings are in there, which I think is uh, very handy, and it definitely. Uh, it makes it easier to use if you like. And uh, then you do have Cyanogen Mod device settings like HSPA, uh, screen scenarios, and uh, you can customize your sensors. Uh, on this ROM, I'm getting a quadrant about 2,000 to 3,000 uh, score, which is pretty low. But you know, numbers aren't everything, and I don't like using quadrant um, because this ROM is super fast. Um, as you can see here, there's no problems with it. I just open up the App Store, and not the App Store, sorry, the Google Play Store. And uh, as you can see, everything loads fast. Um, multitasking is general, and there's not really much in terms of customization. Um, it's more or less stock ice cream sandwich flavor, but it is yours to customize the way you want, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so yeah, that's been my look at the hydrogen ROM. Um, it's I don't know if what version it is. I don't think it's version. Is it one point? Let me just check here. Um, it was updated on the fifth. No, sorry, on the second of May. Uh, it's the second of May version, um, so yeah, I don't think they give it numbers, but um, that's basically it. It's basically the ROM, and uh, there's been loads of bunch of fixes mainly, and um, but other than the things that went, other than the things I went through, um, that's basically it. Um, so yeah, 
Thanks for watching my video guys. Please rate, comment and uh, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, thanks